The number one item that you need to pack when traveling is this little device right here. And I wish I knew about this years ago. So today, I'm gonna to fully explain what this is, how to set it up, how to use it, and how to fully optimize it for all your travel needs. I'm Michael Scott, and this is the Ultimate Tech Hub. Gonna be awesome. There is nothing more enjoyable than taking family vacations, especially with all of your wonderful in-laws. <laughs> For instance, yeah. traveling across the country or overseas or on cruise ships or hotels. And while we're traveling, it's very important to stay connected to the internet. However, staying connected to the internet can be complicated, which also includes some serious security risks. And it can be very expensive. However, there is a perfect solution for this traveling internet conundrum. And we're talking about a travel router. This is the Opal GL iNet, a pocket-sized router that's great for traveling anywhere in the world. And there's a plethora of these routers on the market. And the reason we chose this one was the price. It's $34.99. And for that price, it has all the features that we need. Three LAN ports and one USB port. Let's open the box and see what's inside. This is the Opal GL SFT 1200, a pocket-sized travel router with a plethora of security features. And this pocket router includes open WRT, three gigabit ports, dual band Wi-Fi. It also includes a VPN, IPv6, and Tor. So what comes with the GL SFT 1200? Well, first you get a warranty card, a detailed user manual that shows the entire setup process, which is very simple and straightforward. And obviously, you get the pocket router. And this pocket router is well ventilated and includes two adjustable antennas. As far as the connections go, you get one WAN port and two LAN ports. You also get a USB 2.0 and a Type-C power connection. And the side of the router also has a toggle button for the modes and a reset button. So what else comes in the box? You get the Type-C power cord which includes the US standard outlet. It would have been nice if they include the UK outlet as well as the European outlet. However, I already have those for traveling, so it's no big deal. It also includes a flat style ethernet cable. So this is everything you'd get for $34.99. And it looks to be a pretty good deal. So first off, what exactly is a travel router? A travel router is a portable pocket sized device that allows you to create a secure, safe, and stable Wi-Fi network wherever you are. A travel router can make your trip smoother, safer, cheaper, and more connected, even for your wonderful in-laws. The travel <laughs> router can be connected to a hotel, airport, casino, cruise ship, or cafe Wi-Fi. One of the biggest benefits of a travel router is that it can improve your Wi-Fi performance. We've all been there in a hotel or cruise ship when the Wi-Fi signal is weak and slow, especially when multiple people are on it. A travel router can help by taking that weak signal and boosting it, giving you a more stable and faster connection across all your devices. And cruise ships are notoriously slow and expensive. This is because you'll have to pay for each device that's connected to the ship's Wi-Fi. So for instance, four people share a cabin that all four people have to pay for four separate Wi-Fi plans, which is very expensive. But using a travel router, all you need is one Wi-Fi plan to cover the entire cabin. And if you have an adjoining cabin with your wonderful in-laws, then they could connect to the travel router at no additional cost. Saving hundreds of dollars on crappy cruise ship Wi-Fi. But it does get better because the crappy cruise ship Wi-Fi is now improved when using the travel router. Now, let's talk about security. Public Wi-Fi networks, like those in hotels, cafes, casinos, cruise ships, or airports, can be a serious security risk. However, when you connect through a travel router, it acts as a firewall between your devices and the public network. This adds a layer of encryption and protection, making it harder for hackers to access your data. So you can feel safer checking emails, banking, or doing anything online that requires sensitive information. You can also use a VPN on your travel router which allows you to access regional limited shows and programs, which means this travel router is ideal for watching Netflix. Another great feature about the travel router is that it can help get around device limits set by hotels and cruise ships. And we know sometimes there's a limit to how many devices you can connect. However, with a travel router, 
you only connect the router to the Wi-Fi once. And then you can share your connection with all the devices. And best of all, no more device limits and no more captive portal. It's like your hotel or cabin is your home's Wi-Fi. You walk in and it automatically connects to the travel router. And as a bonus, these travel routers also have LAN ports to connect devices with Ethernet. And like this travel router, some models have USB ports where you can plug in a thumb drive or external hard drive to share movies, music, or documents with your device's Wi-Fi. So if you're on a long flight or road trip, you can access your media without relying on internet access. And some travel routers have the ability to use a SIM card or connect to a mobile hotspot. This is perfect if you're in an area with that reliable public Wi-Fi. Pop in a SIM card with a data plan and boom, you've got your own private internet connection anywhere in the world. And lastly, travel routers are compact and lightweight. They fit easily in your bag, purse, backpack, luggage, and many even come with handy travel cases. This makes them super convenient to carry on any trip. And I recommend having two travel routers, one that you can keep in your car and the other one you can keep in your luggage. This way when you're traveling, you'll always have it. And travel routers are cheap, small, secure, fast, and easy to set up, which means there's no reason not to have one or two. Now let's talk about how to set up, use, and optimize your travel router. No matter which travel router you purchase, the setup is always the same. First, plug in the power to the travel router. Then look on the bottom of the travel router. Here is where you'll see all the information, like the IP address, the MAC address, the SSID name, and the password. Next, on your mobile device, connect to the travel router. Simply find the SSID and connect, and put in the password and you're good to go. Next, we have to set up the router. So open a browser and type in the IP address of the router. You'll now be at the user interface. So first, choose your language, English, and then next, change the admin password. And from here, you can see the user interface. And you can see here, we have a few different options. We have ethernet, repeater, tethering, and cellular. And for this video, we're gonna use the repeater option because it's the most popular option when traveling, especially in hotels and on cruise ships. So go to the repeater option and then connect to the local Wi-Fi. And if you're at a hotel or on a cruise ship, you'll be moved to a different web page, which is the captive portal. And from here, you'll put in your room number or cabin number and then connect. And then once you're connected, you now have a permanent router in your room. Just make sure the router is never unplugged. And then now you can connect all the devices to the router. And this router can connect up to 52 devices. And there's one more option I wanna show you, which is the VPN. And you can see they have NordVPN as a default VPN. And you can see that we have the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz band. So when we go to the wireless settings, make sure to enable the 20 megahertz band. This band is much faster. Matter of fact, when I enabled this, this tripled our speed, both upload and download. And one more thing to consider, if you're going to be streaming movies or TV shows, use the 5 gigahertz band, it's faster. However, if you're further away from the router, then go ahead and use the 2.4 gigahertz. It's better at long range. So guys and gals, if you travel a lot or go on business trips, then this pocket-sized router is a must. And we're gonna have links down below to our favorite pocket-sized routers, including this one. And guys and gals, do not travel without one of these. It's a must. And if you're looking for a home mesh Wi-Fi system, check out this video right here. Or if you're looking for a badass gaming router, check out this video right here. And I'll see you guys and gals in the next video real soon. High five. Peace.